Welcome to Mr. Combat Shorts, Big Fights of 2022. Anthony Joshua vs. Alexander Yuzik might be the biggest fight of 2022. It is most surely the biggest rematch of the year. Before we look ahead to the rematch, let's recap on that fateful night when Yuzik captured all of the belts, leaving a bloody and battered Joshua with no answers, and no alternative, but to scamper to his dressing room empty-handed. Maybe AJ did everything he could have, and it just wasn't enough against Yusik. Maybe Yusik will have grown into the new weight category, by the time of the rematch. Maybe it won't play out anything like it did before. But let's first of all, take a closer recap of that night, back in September 2021. Yusik made a no-nonsense approach to the ring for his entrance. He clearly has the eye of the tiger. AJ's entrance was relaxed, but intense at the same time, and a really big show. He's smiling and laughing as he walks towards the ring. Even fist bumping with fans. He looks maybe a little out of sorts and at some point on his way to the ring even asks someone what they think of Yusik as a fighter. Very unusual behavior just before a fight. The two touch gloves in round one begins. It's clear from the start that Yusik is busy and his movement is causing Joshua problems. They are both cautious but Joshua barely lands anything. Yusik is already starting to land clean heavy shots with the backhand. By the third round, AJ is really struggling with the movement, and sharp shots of Yusik. He is clearly hurt towards the end of the round. The fourth round is not much better, as Yusik is landing regularly, and Joshua struggles to keep up with the pace. He half lands, and the crowd go wild, hoping he can start to turn the tide. But the most dangerous shots are still coming from the backhand. Joshua looks shaken after the fourth, but comes out in the fifth landing some good shots. Arguably he wins his first round of the fight. Yusik doesn't seem shaken but doesn't like it when AJ goes to the body. Into round six and AJ has finally found his confidence, landing some heavy and hurtful blows. Yusik still remains focused, and lands some shots of his own but still, round six is AJ's best so far. Round 7 turns out to be Joshua's worst round so far. He again is caught by a big backhand and nearly goes down. Massive round for Yusik, and AJ is visibly hurt in the corner. The next few rounds are a little closer. Joshua lands some good body shots but he looks exhausted. Yusik is really turning up a gear now, and throwing some hurtful combinations too. Joshua is struggling to find any answers by round 11. He is showing signs of significant damage. He bravely continues, into the 12, but by the last few seconds of the fight, he is desperately close to being knocked out, and his eye is badly swollen. The signs were there from the beginning. With such a casual ring walk, and at times it seemed his team, thought the goal, was just to survive. AJ staggers back to his corner, broken but smiling. All of his team and the crowd know he's been badly beaten. Music kneels in the middle of the ring rejoicing his clear victory. AJ slumps in his chair, being tended to by his corner, and checked by the medical professionals. He staggers to his feet for the results, but he must be really dazed, as he seems surprised, as the judges score a Yusik win. After a horrendous night, AJ slumps off back to the changing rooms. Yusik is in tears of elation at his new belts. What can AJ do differently, this time around? He must look at the mistakes he made last time. Maybe the best idea for Joshua is to throw everything at Yusik in the first few rounds and hope to knock him out early. What do you think? Who's your money on?